4 and 2 sevenths plus x equals 3 and 5 sevenths. Wow, what are we dealing with here? Are these fractions? Certainly they are, but they're different kinds of fractions. These are called mixed numbers. You mix integers and fractions together. And if you're going to solve linear equations that have these kinds of fractions in them, I recommend that you first turn them into what we call improper fractions, where you turn this into simply a numerator and denominator. And the way you do that is this way. You multiply the 4 times the denominator 7 and add that to the 2 on top. So 4 times 7 is 28 plus 2 is 30, so this can be written as 30 over 7. It's the exact same thing. Notice, if you divide 7 into 30, 7 goes into 30 4 times, goes 4 times 7 is 28, and you'll have a remainder of 2. So this is 4 and 2 sevenths. So we're just going the other way. We turn it, a mixed number into an improper fraction. So we have 30 over 7 plus x equals, and we do the same over here again. 3 times 7 is 21, plus 5 is 26, so this becomes 26 over 7. And now we have something like we had before, and that's easily solved by following the rules. So the first thing is get rid of these fractions, eliminate fractions. Again, what is the rule? We multiply both sides of the equation by the lowest common denominator. Well, the lowest common denominator is 7, so we multiply the left side by 7 and we multiply the right side by 7. Okay, then we distribute those, so this becomes 7 times 30 over 7 plus 7 times x is equal to 7 times 26 over 7. Notice if I write 26 over 7 times 7 or 7 times 26 over 7 is the exact same thing. They call that the commutative property. When you multiply two numbers together you can switch them around Okay, now 7 divided by 7, that cancels out, so we're left with 30 plus 7x equals 7 divided by 7 cancels, so we're left with 26. And now we have a simple linear equation that we can solve using our typical methods. The term with the variable is already on the left side, so you leave it there. Then you move the constant term to the other side. We have 7x equals 26 minus 30. Then it says combine like terms, so 7x equals minus 4. Then divide both sides of the equation by the numerical coefficient. So divide by 7, divide by 7. That cancels out. x equals minus 4 over 7.